So Kawan Barkley quickly established himself as one of the best running backs in the game. But one thing that good players are always trying to do is look to improve. Going into this week, Pat Shermer talked a lot about how he wanted Barkley to run more north and south. Not every play is going to be a home run, and he wants Barkley to take the yards that are there. And this first play is a good example of him doing just that. As you see, it's a pretty standard run. The offensive line is going to shift up to the top of the screen, and Saquon Barkley is going to run to the left A-gap. At this point, Barkley does have a decision to make, and he could break it to the outside. But the thing is, Devontae Bond and Justin Evans are both covering up the outside pretty well. If he did try to break things to the outside, he would have to make a man miss, otherwise it'd be a loss of yards. Another thing worth mentioning on this play is Buccaneers linebacker Darius Taylor is actually going to take a pretty poor angle. The Giants' left tackle and guard are double-teaming Gerald McCoy, and this lets Taylor know that it's going to be a run to the left A gap. So that part he did well, however he runs through that gap way too quickly. Now Barkley can just pick a different gap to run to. Instead he's going to run to the B gap, which is a little bit over, and while there's not much of a hole, there's now no linebackers in the play. The first person Barkley is going to make contact on this play is actually Nate Solder. It wasn't a big hole, but with his size and strength, he's able to get a gain of 9 out of it. Let's take a look at another play that seems pretty simple in execution. The most interesting thing about this play is Giants right guard Jamon Brown is going to run up to block a linebacker. This is going to end up leaving Spencer Pulley one-on-one -on -one against Gerald McCoy. In most situations, having a center go one-on-one -on -one against Gerald McCoy is a recipe for disaster. But here, Pulley does a great job and is able to hold his own. However, it's a different story with Chad Wheeler trying to take on Bo Allen. Bo Allen has good positioning, and it's going to close up the hole that Barkley has to run to. That's where Barkley comes in. He's so fast and accelerates so quickly, he's able to just run by Bo Allen. Bo Allen tries to make an arm tackle, but you're not going to be able to arm tackle a guy like Saquon Barkley. Another crucial part of this play is the fact that the Buccaneers are playing man coverage, meaning that Barkley only has to get past Devontae Bond, since he's the player who's assigned to cover Barkley. And since the Giants have another lineman out the block, it makes for an easy first down. And of course, because Barkley is so fast, he's able to gain even more yards. That play is great because it shows how good of an athlete Barkley is. But as we all know, being a good athlete can only get you so far. To be successful in the NFL, you have to be smart as well, and Barkley definitely is. Take a look at this play. It's a pretty standard halfback toss. And one player you're going to want to keep an eye on is Carl Nassib, who by the way has quietly had a very good season with Tampa Bay. He's going to have an absolute bull rush on his play. He's going to blow past Chad Wheeler and hit the fullback really quickly. Now Barkley's in trouble. If he continues to break things to the outside, he's going to be struggling just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Elijah Penny, who's playing fullback for New York on his play, does a good enough job blocking Nassib. Nassib still is able to get a hand on Barkley, but as we've seen before, just getting a hand on Barkley is not enough and Barkley's able to break out of it. Barkley looks around and basically sees a wide open hole for him on the left side. It's not what the play was designed for, but Barkley shows great awareness in this play and turns what could have been a big loss into a first down. And speaking of smart plays, let's take a look at this one. Once again, nothing fancy. Looks like a design play up the right A gap. However, it breaks down almost instantly for the Giants. Gerald McCoy does a great job of taking on a double team on this play. And also, unlike the play I showed earlier, the Tampa Bay linebackers are doing a much better job of making sure every gap is closed and not going all out just to close one gap. One player that deserves credit on this play for the Giants is Rhett Ellison, who's able to take on a one-on-one -on -one block with Carl Nassib. Also, Nassib saw Barkley was running towards the middle of the screen, and so then Nassib took a couple steps towards that direction, which now is going to allow Barkley to break things to the outside. At this point, I'm pretty sure Tampa Bay fans would complain about what probably should have been a hold on Sterling Shepard, as he kind of ends up just throwing Jordan Whitehead to the ground. But in the NFL, refs will miss holding calls all the time. It's up to good teams and good players to make other teams pay for it. And that's exactly what Barkley did here, as he was able to pick up a first down, and it's really what Barkley did to Tampa Bay all game long. We like sports and we don't care who knows From shooting hoops to the Super Bowl We like sports and we don't care who knows Football, 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 football tennis, hockey, golf The game is starting, everyone is here I got my snacks, my friends, and a beer